Godfrey from Stewart, Florida. I am Ashley Godfrey and I'm an NPC figure competitor. What they're looking for in figure is an X-type body shape. They want the V taper, they want a small waist, wide back, um, your lats, nice shoulder development. They also want glutes and hamstring and quad development as well. So that way when you're kind of looking at looking at the girls on stage, you get, you know, the X the X look from the wide shoulders to the small waist and then out again towards the legs and the quads. When I was three years old, I started out in gymnastics. I was in the gym six days a week. There was only one day where I was not in that gymnastics gym, um, taking classes, working on my routines and ballet. From that, I kind of went into cheerleading. Thanks to my sisters, they kind of pushed me into it. And um, I remember going up in the air for my first time. I was eight years old and I just completely fell in love with it. And from there stemmed, I did school cheerleading along with competitive cheer. And I decided when I was in high school that I was gonna go try out for um, college cheerleading. And I actually did so. And I stayed at Stephen F. Austin State University for four years and I won two national championships with them, um, got a couple of rings, and I also got a big support system and family while I was there as well. Being in cheerleading, you have such a big group of friends. Um, I really consider them my family too. And it, it just kind of brings you out of your shell. You get more comfortable and you, one, being a cheerleader is you're cheering on, you know, you have something to cheer for. And I think that just kind of was instilled in me to get me a little bit more, it got me a little bit more bubbly and I felt a lot more comfortable in front of people. For competitive cheer, I have won well over 20, 30 national championships. The biggest ones being um, my four, four national championships through National Cheerleaders Association, which is also known as NCA. Um, there's also a huge competition once a year held in Disney called the World Championships or the Cheerleading Worlds, where teams from all over the world come to compete. I did win back in 2008 with my team um, for competitive cheer at Cheer Athletics, um, which is one of the most amazing feelings I've ever felt or so so I thought until I went on to cheer in college I think it was just that I was so passionate about it that it really brought me out of my shell and I was always excited about going to practice going to games putting on that uniform every single day which I really think carried over in or carries over continually into um, bodybuilding and figure obviously you have that same focus in on yourself you're um, you have to hold yourself accountable at all times. I actually never had been to a competition when I decided to do one. I was about four weeks out of my show when I decided to go check out one down in West Palm Beach. I decided to do bikini because I also knew a lot of um, cheerleaders and alumni that I went to school with who started out in bikini as well. So that kind of drew me to it. Um, now when I stepped on stage and I got the critique from the judges, they told me that I was a little bit too muscular for bikini. So I just, um, I guess maybe my gymnastics background, I tend to put on muscle very, very easily. So I went from circuit training in bikini constantly and doing lots and lots of cardio. And now in figure, I get to lift all the weight I want and well, significantly less cardio. And I really enjoy it a lot more. I've been told by um, a couple people, I've been asked if I've been physique or if I'm in um, figure, and I've been told that I'm, I could be borderline, but um, overall I'm not really looking to go that dialed in to a show. I know physique is a lot a lot more work even than what I'm putting in now. It's not that I don't want to do it. Um, the physique I'm trying to achieve is definitely conditioned always better than my last and yet still feminine. I mean, a lot of women are afraid of weights. You're not gonna get big unless you're, unless you're eating to get big is really the number one thing a lot of people don't understand. Um, now lifting, there are a lot of ways to put on muscle. During my um, on-season training, I do about five to six days of weightlifting and about six, I actually do cardio every day right now since I'm so close. I work out here um, at Gold's and I also work out at LA Fitness. I like to go back and forth depending on the time of day and 
you know, I know different people work out at different times, so I get to see my friends too, depending on where I'm at. I started my prep and I had didn't really have any intentions of doing that show. Um, when I came back, I was on a summer trip, I came back and was a little bit further along in my prep than I thought, so I decided to go ahead and go for it. And worst case scenario, if I didn't come in ready, then I wasn't going to do it, but um, it all worked out. And Ladies and gentlemen, our overall winner in the Women's Speaker Open Division for the 2016 Precision Fit Body Championship is number 67, Ashley Godfrey. I um, had no idea that I was going to take over all on that show. I didn't even think it was, <laughs> I guess, um, an option. And so stepping on that stage and not only winning first um, for the first time, but taking over all was just was kind of surreal. And as far as my physique goes, it's given me a lot. Um, I've pushed myself a lot mentally. It's, it's a constant thing, and it surprises me every day. I guess just how far I've been able to push myself and it can keep going. Um, and other than that, I've met so many great people through this sport, which is awesome. And everybody is, most people are so very supporting. Well, my goal right now is to take it day by day. Um, my first goal, with that being said, is to get my pro card. I definitely want to go pro. Um, years, who knows how long from now, I want to step on that Olympia stage. That would be a dream come true for me. Um, I don't. I don't um, try to project too far, but um, I just try to take it day by day and be the best that I can and hope that it takes me where I want to be. Everything was so repetitive coming into the gym every day and in cheerleading and gymnastics, you always had, you whenever you went into a practice, whenever you went into the gym, there was always something that you were working on, whether it was a skill, whether it was something for your team or your physique, you're always working for something. And when you didn't, I didn't have that after being used to it for 21, 22 years, I just felt like I needed something else and it kind of fell in my lap and I love it.